We're under the lights on the deck testing some high velocity handgun ammo, 357 SIG. That should give you a clue right there. Federal HST 125 grain jacketed hollow point. And before we go any further, let me give you the product number that's on the side of this box of 50 rounds. Product number is XM 357 SHA. And I'm sharing that with you because when you go to the federal law enforcement website and look at the information and specs on 357 SIG HST, that's not the product number you're going to see. You're going to see one for a non-bonded version and one for a bonded. And the non-bonded, I believe, was advertised at 1,360 feet per second. So it's moving along. And I believe the bonded was advertised at 10 feet per second less uh, on that variety, on that version. So I'm thinking we have uh, one of these, obviously, and I'm saying that because uh, let's go back to 2011. We saw some packaging similar to this in the HST in the uh, 40 Smith & Wesson. That was a 135 grain load. And I think the conclusion uh, that I had and also supported by several viewers was that that was a contract overrun. So I'm thinking that is the case here. So we don't really know which version we have, but I am 100% certain that it is a federal HST. Okay, moving along. Here's the test gun we're using. This is the Glock 32. I'm certain of that, although some days it poses as a Glock 23. But it's a Glock 32 tonight, four inch barrel. And uh, let's say that we have either 1350 or 1360 as the target velocity for this. There are my five shots. And I've also added the atmospheric readings for the chronograph purist. So there's that information. And there's the average, 1,375 feet per second, and that equates to a whopping 525 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Fascinating. And the recoil on that, not bad at all. I could uh, very easily acquire some pretty decent follow-up shots. In fact, out of that configuration, I enjoy shooting the 357 SIG more than I do the 40 when I put in the Glock 23 barrel. But today it's a 357 SIG, and we're going to shoot this into the SIM test media. That's calibrated to match ballistic gel specs, adding four layers of denim, and we'll be shooting from 10 feet. No, I didn't hit the light. It just chose to burn out at that exact moment. The bulb did not burn out. That would have been an amazing coincidence. It was loose in the socket, and the concussion from the shot knocked it loose, so we lost lighting on that side. Everything's back to normal, obviously. We have a 50-pound, 20-inch block, and that shot is in there somewhere. I'm expecting incredible expansion on that stretch cavity. One thing I'm looking for in particular is the penetration. 357 SIG has been giving us some impressive stretch cavities, and this one is no exception. The expansion starts about a half inch in, and look at this. This runs for six inches, what I could determine the stretch cavity or permanent stretch cavity is stopping in this area. So about six inches in length. That is very much uh, longer than what I'm typically seeing in these handgun ammo tests. Obviously, these are lead fragments. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that with... Uh, the HST in any caliber tested up to this point. This is about an inch and a quarter to inch and a half wide here and I'm able to measure an inch down going in and then looking at the other half I can get about a about a half inch in. So the overall diameter of this channel is between an inch and a quarter to inch and a half. And again through here we're running about six inches in length. Now let's go to the top. This is where we found the bullet was uh, in this upper half. I'll probably give you a cross section of this. Okay, we're going out through here at 5, 6, 7, 8, 12 is the FBI minimum. We're there, and just a little bit over that. I've already measured to this leading edge. It's in at an angle. That is at 13 and a quarter inches. Clearly had some expansion. Let's get that out, see if we have anything plugged in the cavity. Not that it really matters at this point. Here are the two halves again, focusing just on that initial two inches of penetration. This one, and then the other half. Here's the cross section from that point moving forward. Bullet cleaned up nicely and there was indeed a plug of denim. I really had to work to get that out, but I don't think it had um, any impact on what happened in these results. 
So the cross section looking forward, and it's about one and a quarter, one and a half inches in diameter, as I was pointing out. So the 357 SIG, the HST is bringing everything to the table. High velocity, a lot of energy. We're getting good penetration and expansion. There's the high mark, 0.597. Uniform expansion. The average is 0.592. Retained weight is 120.6 grains, keeping in mind that we did have some fragments in the damage path. The HST continues to impress, and it appears that the marriage of the HST and the 357 SIG is yet another winning combination for this brand. What I wish I knew was whether or not we had tested the bonded or the non-bonded. Thanks for watching.